Hi all and welcome to a Banana Retro unboxing video and today we are going to be unboxing the 8-bit dough uh, I said that like Homer Simpson 8-bit doll uh, keyboard retro keyboard that uh, the one I've got here is in the style of the Commodore 64 complete with super chunky keys uh, and uh, yeah, there are, the first thing that you'll notice from this is, I mean, even just the box looks absolutely awesome. It, it, it looks like you bought an actual 8-bit micro, um, or frankly, any computer. It just looks really, really nice. So uh, I'm just going to twist it around a little bit and show you off the different sides. Uh, a couple of the sides are blank, but at the bottom there you see what it's actually got um, inside it. You get quite a bit of kit, actually. Um, I was surprised, I was kind of expecting just the keyboard, but uh, there's a few little added extras that you do, you do get, so I'm just going to open this one up, and uh, I mean, I, 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 full disclosure, I've actually, so I'm recording the video for two seconds to the audio, so I'll uh, talk you through what we've got now. But uh, this is going to sound weird, but even the smell of the box, it, it, it reminds you of like Christmas Day opening up a computer or something. It's uh, really weird. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really nice. But really solid packaging as well. So yeah, hats off to 8-Bit Do or 8-Bit Do. I'm going to go 8-Bit Do. I'm going to pick that. I'm going to stick to that. So we open it up and uh, yeah, the first thing you've got is the keyboard. And now I know that it's probably weighted down but this unit is chunky this unit has got some weight to it it feels like an actual micro computer it doesn't feel light at all um, I, you know I'm sure that it's probably weighted because these days circuit boards are teeny tiny um, and I have this yeah this card that I'm showing now is one uh, that just gives you some instructions uh, to do stuff that I'm not entirely sure. So it comes with these stickers, which I'm going to show you here. And yeah, not entirely sure what to do with these stickers. I'm being completely honest with you. I think you stick them onto the uh, the red buttons that we'll see shortly, and then you can obviously map those to do things. But but what what sticks in my head is that if I map it, it's obviously done. And if I go stick in a sticker, I can't unstick the sticker. So then I'll be stuck. Okay, so let's get we get obviously a bunch of cables in here. Uh, now what we're getting out now is the I'm waiting, waiting, waiting because I can't remember what I got out. Yes, yeah, the the buttons. Now let's take a look at this. This is very cool. This is like it's like a giant Nintendo button pad. It's got A and B, um, like a game pad. It's really strange. I mean, this, this, it's huge. I mean, it's very cool. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that, listen to that nice clicking sound. That's got ASMR written all over it, that nice. Um, so it uh, connects in via jack to the back of the computer. See, I'm calling it a computer, um, but it, it kind of is. Um, right, next up, have a look at this. This is super cool, or well, at least it will be when I put the little twisty thing on here. Yeah, I'm not too sure why I did that there. Uh, Let's, uh, let's just wait for me to catch up. Here we go. So this is the handle. So you get a joystick. So we've got this little joystick which makes these wonderful kind of... Uh, do you remember those joysticks? They used to click when you used to rotate them. Um, there was a particular... I think it was like Sports Pro joysticks or something. And they used to make a clicking sound. Um, and it, yeah, it's re very reminiscent of that. And again, something you can't see from here, but these things are solid. They, again, probably weighted down. I'm sure there's pretty much no components on the inside of it, but they are, they've got some weight to them. So they feel substantial. They feel like quality. Um, this is the, this is the, obviously, the standard USB-C charging cable uh, connector. And now the main event. Da -da -da -da. So this obviously is the 8-bit Do Commodore 64 styled keyboard, which is Bluetooth compatible, Wi-Fi Wi compatible. I don't know how to do that to work, but it's Bluetooth. 
Um, it's the other one where you connect via US wireless, that's what I'm trying to say, wireless, uh, why you connect via a little USB stick. Um, here we go. Uh, and I'm going to just do that. Whoa, look at that. Wow. That's the thing of beauty. And it really is. I mean, I can't, I can't stress actually how nice it is. I, it's going to sound like really weird, but this is a really, really nice computer, really. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, it is technically just a keyboard, but it's so much you can do. Look at the keys, man. The keys are so <laughs> chunky, and they make this great. They sound like the original thing. I mean, I had a VIC-20, um, and I have had a Commodore since then, and that, it absolutely feels real. So, so what I'm showing there are the sockets where you can connect the joystick and the buttons. Uh, USB, obviously, and that little thing there that you can't quite see. But that's actually like the Wi-Fi USB dongle, um, I think they call it. So you've obviously got, it's obviously, it's completely modern, so you've got all the F keys along the top, um, you've got, uh, you've got a Windows button, it's, it's a modern keyboard setup, it's a modern keyboard layout, so it isn't trying to imitate the exact layout of the Commodore, but it's doing that. Now what I haven't shown off here, but I will do in a second, is the buttons, uh, top left, but, uh, just, uh, just positioning that there for photo opportunity. Um, yeah, uh, not gonna lie, this wasn't the cheapest, um, it was kind of a little, uh, uh, post bonus present, but it was, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was, it's nice, it's definitely worth, worthwhile getting, I think. You can get other styles, you can get them in a, super, uh, sorry, not Super Nintendo, you can get them in a Famicom style, and you can get them as a Nintendo style, and as a Black Man. Okay, what I'm showing there, so I was mostly not paying attention. So top left, you've got a button that does, uh, you flick between Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wa uh, wireless to the dongle. You've got a volume button just to the right of that. To the right of that, you've got like a Wi-Fi general purpose connection button. So if you're not connected, you can just jab it. And if you listen to this now, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. That is a, that is a proper chunky keyboard, that is. It's a mechanical keyboard. Um, you've got a, a map, a fast map button, which I haven't used yet, and you've got another button, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, to be honest, but it's, uh, yeah, really, really nice. Um, I've been using it for work, if I'm being honest, and I'm also going to use it to, hopefully, code some games up now I've got my little chat GPT wingman to help me. Um, so we're just going to go along the keyboard now and check it out. Uh, apologies for the sunlight on it blaring at the top. I did try and get rid of that in post production, but it didn't want to shift. Um, so again, the buttons there: connectivity, volume, fast connect, and all the way to the top. Um, and the, I mean, the color scheme is spot on. It's uh, it's absolutely spot on. So that's it. Um, Hope you've enjoyed that little unboxing video. It's the first video I've done in absolutely ages, but I'm hoping to do a few more now. Be a little bit more regular, even if it's just like one a month or something. It's kind of regularity. To it. So, thanks for watching. I highly recommend this uh, keyboard. So, uh, yeah, hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed it.